Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders who preach the word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakar Kadash. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakar Kadash. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, two news articles that I'm about to bring out, and this is the first one. <clears throat> As of January the 13th, 2023, and it reads uh, from CNN News, and this was, article was published by Oreen Lieberman uh, three hours ago, and it reads, U.S. Carrier Strikes Group begin operating. Done today. I want none of them. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I can see Probably want to go do the Uber Eats. Yeah. I'm doing dash, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 You gotta leave around about six. Mm -hmm. Nine o'clock, I'm gonna stop one at the same time. True. He's standing out there looking stupid. Yeah. He said he's gonna get a little pop. He said he's gonna get a pop for six hundred. Right. He said his mom in this shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, boys, God, it was that bus. Yeah, I'm going to wait on this. 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 I'm going to He's probably busy. Yeah, he had a thing to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, uh, I think last week. That was his last day at, uh, Soldier Field. Oh, yeah. You know, because of football season. Yeah, football season. Juice is good, because I've been laying nights somewhere. Right. On six stood at the park, drunk. Mm. Boy, ain't nobody going out there that time night. Oh, he came back and came back to Illinois. Mm -hmm. He went to bed with his baby mom or something. Right. I think some, some parents or something. Mm -hmm. So you want to go out there that time like a truck or not? Right. You want to go out there? Sure. It's cool, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that truck to the uh, down south. That was about there. That truck to the down south. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I be up on this shit. True. Mm -hmm. 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 Uh, 
us lock in for that uh, couple of minute pause. So let's talk to my OG. But yeah, this uh, news article that I wanted to bring out, uh, get back to the uh, sit down lesson at hand. And uh, it says, U.S. carrier strike groups begin operation in South China Sea as tensions with China centers. It says, a U.S. carrier strike groups began operation in the South China Sea on Thursday. The Navy announced amend heightened tensions with Beijing, which claims much of the body of the water. It's sovereignty territory. And it says, uh, I'm going to expand the article. It says, two Chinese ships are ready telling the U.S. groups a defense official told CNN, which consists of an aircraft carrier, a guided missile destroyer, and three guided missiles destroyer. The names carrier strike groups, which has lethal and non-lethal capabilities from space to underseas across every ex exit in every domain, according a uh, domain, I meant to say, according to the commander's entire the South China Sea for the first time as part of the current deployment. Deployment comes as the U.S. military bolster its presence in the region in efforts to deteriorate China, which is an ongoing, a rapid modern modernization and expanding of its own military and nuclear capability. This week, which I, you know, covered story of this like twice already because I did like separate lessons of these in previous days. It says, uh, this week, the U.S. and Japan announced a bolstering U.S. Marine presence in Okinawa, which would have advanced intelligence and anti-ship capabilities. These two allies also announced a series of other initiatives designed to bring the military closer together in the face of what they see as a China's growing as observedness in the region. We share a common vision with Japan into maintaining a free and open Indo-Pacific and all the things that we're going, you know, point towards that direction, says Defense Security Lloyd Austin. On Wednesday, speaking with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and their Japanese counterparts in Washington. Three weeks ago, Chinese Jet 11 fire jet intercepts at USR, USRC-135 reconnaissance aircraft over the South China Sea in what is called an unsafe maneuver. The RS-135 river joint was forced to take evish action, the U.S. said, when the Chinese jet close to within 20 feet of the large slower of the jet. The People's Liberation Army fired back with their own account of their interception claiming it was the U.S. aircraft that had abruptly changed its flight altitudes with a dangerous approach maneuver despite a Chinese military video showing nothing of sort. The encounter underscores the inherent tensions relates to the South China Sea where it belongs, where Beijing has used its own artificial militarization uh, islands to advance a common sovereignty not recognized by the sort of its allies. The Chinese Navy routine tells U.S. warships are operating in the South China Sea, even claiming on occasion that it drove away U.S. vessels after they have left the disrupt waters. Uh, in North Member claimed China that it forced the USS uh, Ch Chancellorville's out the South China Sea after it illegally entered the waters without Beijing's approval, which shows the U.S. is a true producer of security risks in the region. The U.S. Uh, responded bluntly, called the 
uh, Chinese account false in the latest in a long string of public people's of People's Republic of China actions to to misrepresent loss for U.S. maritime operations and Azure is accessory in a legitimate maritime claims and the space of its Southeast China neighborings. Of, I mean, of its Southeast Asian neighbors, I meant to say. The U.S. guided missile cruise was operating in the South China Sea as part of the Freedom Navigation Operation and in International Law. Uh, Navy says all nations, large and small, should be secured in the sovereignty, free from certain circling, certain if I pronounce the right, Salaki, and be able to pursue economic growth and consent with accepting international rules and norms, the U.S. said at the time. It's another news article, and this will be the final, last one. And this is a news article from January the 13th, 2023, from worldnews.com, alternative news of RT. And it reads, China warns the West to stop creating imaginary enemies. It says the U.S. and Japan are the real security threat to the Asia-Pacific. Beijing assists Washington and Tokyo needs to abandon, abandon their Cold War mentality and stop investing enemies in the Asia-Pacific region. The China Foreign Minister spokesman Wang Wenbin said on Friday he described a recent statement by American and Japanese foreign and their defense ministers are containing groundless smears and an attack on China. We urge the U.S. and Japan to abandon their Cold War, which I highly doubt that's going to happen. Mentality and ideology bias to uh, stop creating a imaginary enemies and stop trying to sow the seeds of a new Cold War in the Asia Pacific. Wang told reporters at a regular briefing in Beijing. One declaration uh, claims in response to the joint statement by the U.S. Japan Sec uh, Security Consultative Committee issues on Wednesday, which declares the alliance between Washington and Tokyo as a cornerstone of regional peace, security, and prosperity. The documents state that China represents the greatest strategic talent challenge in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond, and signed by the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, and Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshima Hayashi. Hayashi. Hayashi, if I pronounce his name right, Japanese name, and Defense uh, Minister Yakuza Haramanda. He Romanda, I remember, believe, uh, could pronounce it right, Salaki, once again. Uh, according to the Wayne, uh, however, the U.S. and Japan are insisting finding pretexts for military buildup and they went for use of force, creating division and confrontation. They claim to uphold the rules based on international law. What they do is trampling in international law and the basic norms governing our international relations and grossly interfering in other countries and their international affairs ring told reporters. The Asian Pacific is an anchor for peace and development, not a wrestling ground for a uh, geopolitical competition. The Chinese foreign minister spokesman insists adding most of the countries in the world are for justice and against hemogenism, preferring uh, 
cooperating to confrontation, asked about Washington's publicly announcing plans to restrict Beijing's access to semiconductor technology when he said China will result in safeguard our own interests. He accused the U.S. of abusing exporting controls and weaponizing trades in order to perpetuate its own hegemony and selfish interests. Did this not only is severely violates market rules but also disrupts international trade he insisted This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. Uh, red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Yep, because that's what we see in this uh, commotions of wars, uh, proxy wars, wars and rumors of wars between the nations and different kingdoms. That's why, uh, that's why the United States and China, they definitely taking huge shots at one another. If it's over the South China Sea, uh, border disputes of island disputes of, uh, this nation got this military, uh, mobility, uh, this other nation, they got more military mobility and stability. You know, as you see, you know, the United States and uh, Japan signed that uh, huge uh, security alliance, security stability deal of amending uh, threats, rising and increasing threats from uh, China. And that's why you see uh, China is uh, blaming uh, United States and uh, Japan creating a uh <laughs> he said they creating a visible enemy and they're in that mindset of uh that cold war you know what the scripture says uh we should hear wars and rumors of wars and nation rising against nation kingdom against kingdom in revelations 11 14 another reference scripture that comes into mind uh uh, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. We're seeing that as well, too. So that's why you see an increase of uh, commotions of wars, uh, wars and rumors of wars, and proxy wars between the different nations and different kingdoms. And this is Matthews 24 and 6, and it reads, Red leather, Yahweh Shai speaking. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Revelations 11 and 14. And it reads, uh, verse 14 in Revelations 11, and verse 14 in words to the Holy Scriptures. The second world was passed, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Right, because we're seeing uh, increasing signs of uh, the third world's war between the nations of different kingdoms, you know. And that's what we're seeing, and it's heating up. Hey, that China uh, versus the United States is heating up. That uh, China versus uh, Japan heating up. That China versus Taiwan heating up. That uh, Palestine versus Israel heating up. That uh, Russia versus Ukraine. That war is intensifying and heating up. You know, so that's why we. That's that war, third world's war is definitely heating up. We got a lot of tensions of war uh, related incidents going on and disputes and proxy wars, endless wars uh, between these nations and these territories and throughout the world as well too.
So all these things are heating up, you know. So that third world's war is definitely increasing, and it is heating up as well too, you know. And so with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. As of January the 13th, 2022, on this uh, Friday afternoon at 4:11 p.m. Central Standard Time. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Of the two news articles that I brought out. Uh, the first one was uh, China warns the West to stop creating imaginary enemies. That's a rumor of war heating up. And the second article that I brought out as well, too, of a uh, U.S. carrier strike groups began operating in the South China Sea as tensions with China simmers. So it's heating up, you know. So with that, uh, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles for uh, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash. And shout out to the Aki. Scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Hashem El Shai, Hashem Akarkadash. And until next time, I will say uh, Shalom.